Hi everyone and welcome back to my studio. I'm Heather Noble and today I will be showing you my angled stitch notation system and demonstrating how to crochet each one. One of the things I love about mosaic crochet is that it's relatively new and there's room for exploration and creativity. The drawback is that there isn't a standard notation system. I created my angled notation system in 2020, and today I will break down each one for you. The first symbol that you'll see here is the angled arrow down. It represents a dropped double crochet, but instead of going directly below, it will go two stitches to the left. The next symbol is a slanted bar. It indicates a dropped double crochet one stitch to the left. So to recap, the angled arrow means over two stitches, the slanted bar means over one stitch. Sometimes I will group both symbols with a regular dropped double crochet. This means that all three stitches will be worked into the same loop. Here I will be working the grouping of all three stitches into the same loop. Here's the stitch we're at. Count over two to the left, and here's the loop I will work all three stitches into. When I work an angled stitch, I pull the first loop up to equal to the height of the row I'm working from to give the stitch some slack so it doesn't pull the loop I'm working into out of shape. Now I work my next stitch into the same loop and then the third stitch. I always stop here and adjust my stitches by giving them a gentle tug into place before moving forward. Here's the mirror image of the slanted bar symbol. It means drop double crochet one stitch to the right. Here's how to work it. Find your next stitch and count back one to the right. Again, I give the angled stitches a little more slack so they don't pull. Now this angled stitch lays over the top of this double crochet and you work your next stitch into the double crochet after that. This can be a place where it's easy to get off your stitch count, so be careful. For this symbol, you'll notice that I changed the box to yellow. Every time it's yellow, it means double crochet two together, sometimes known as a decrease. In this example, start with the angled stitch to the right and then work into the loop directly below. You'll notice I numbered the stitches you work into. You always start with the stitch on the right unless you're a left-handed crocheter. Here's how to work it. Yarn over and count over one to the right to work into your first loop. Yarn over and pull through. Yarn over and pull through two. This leaves two loops on the hook. Yarn over and insert your hook into the second stitch. Yarn over and pull through. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over and pull through all three stitches. This completes the stitch. Give a slight tug into place and you have the double crochet two together angled stitch one to the right. Here's the symbol for the angled arrow stitch double crochet two together. It's similar to what we just covered, but this time you'll skip a stitch in between. The difficult part about this stitch is not necessarily the actual stitch, but rather where to put the next single crochet. It's where a lot of people get off on their stitch count because this stitch is semi hidden by the angled stitch you create. Here's how to work it. I'm going to yarn over and insert my hook directly below. Yarn over and pull through. 
yarn over and pull through two, leaving two loops on the hook. Skip a stitch and work into the next. Yarn over and pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over and pull through all three. Now it's time for the next single crochet. It's hidden behind the angle you just created. It's right here. Be sure to find it to stay on track with your stitch count. Here's the next row above the stitch we just learned. You will work the double crochet into that hidden single crochet right here. Sometimes you need to search a little to find it. This concludes my video tutorial on my angled stitches. I hope I've answered any questions you might have. If you have further questions, you can find me at heathernobledesigns.com. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.